is Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. Name ain't Nicole. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have filmed. This is my second video today. The other one was this look. Um, this one is a makeup tag video. Um, it was started, well, I've only seen one video of it. Um, so I'm going to say Danielle started this. Not sure. Pretty sure she did though. Um, I'm going to leave her video in the description box so that you can watch it. This particular tag video is about your makeup habit. <laughs> la, la, la. Your makeup habits. So therefore the makeup habit tag. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to tag some people. Um, by the way, if I keep looking at because I'm looking at the questions. But I'm going to tag some people. I'm going to tag Kristen. I'm going to tag Monica. I'm going to tag Kat, aka Rented Fashion. I'm going to tag, just call me Joe. I'm going to tag Allie, Hot Mess Ness, and uh, Kicking It With Chris, and Vanessa Loves Makeup. So, those are who I'm tagging, and let's get started. Question one How often do you wear a full face of makeup, foundation, eyeshadow, contour, the works? I'd say six days at the week. <laughs> um, well, I don't always contour my face, but I do foundation, shadow, uh, powder, highlight, everything but contour and blush every day. I rarely wear blush. So is that a full face of makeup or is that like 95% of a face? I would say I do 95% of a face six days out the week. Um, is your everyday makeup look more neutral or colorful? My everyday makeup look, I would say, like, it's more bold and intense looks that you probably shouldn't wear every day, but I do it anyway because I don't care. Um, that's just me. I'm not good at neutral looks. I'm, I'm still learning. I really am. It's hard for me to do just light colors and soft. I need bold and crazy and bam, like, you know, that's, that's me, but I'm working on neutral looks. Do you apply your foundation before or after you've done your shadow? I mix it up. It depends on the eye look. Like, if I want a sharp, like, line here, I do it. I do the foundation after. But if I don't care, if it's just, like, boom, color, then the foundation goes on before, you know? If I make a mistake, that's what concealer is for. Number five, what are some bad makeup habits that you can't stop doing? Bad makeup habits that I can't stop doing? Probably put too much powder and highlight on my face. But ask me if I can't. Well... Powder, not really, like, it's not too bad. It's just, some people say, like, because some people are, like, they only powder under their eyes and here and here. I powder here, 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 everywhere. Because, yeah, I don't know. I want everything to stay where it should be staying. Um, and, well, I just got better at cleaning my brushes every week instead of every two weeks. Sometimes three weeks, because I'm not dirty, guys, I promise. I just, I'm a teacher, and his life is rough. Okay, life is just rough. I finish work at 9 o'clock at night, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so life is rough. Um, six, do you use beauty influencer techniques or your own when applying your makeup? I usually use my own, but I do borrow from Patrick Starr. That's the only beauty influencer that their techniques are similar to, his techniques are similar to mine. So, you know, I watch his videos and I'm like, ah, I should try it that way. But other than that, I don't really try anybody else's ways. I know that sounds crazy because I watch Jeffree Star like no other and yeah i don't do his techniques but i definitely try some of patrick's techniques that's where i learned how to powder here 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 yeah everywhere seven what is one step in your makeup routine that takes the longest to complete my baby drakes my baby drakes take forever because i have to i don't like to tweeze my eye but that hurts me i'm I have a very sensitive face in general so even if i can pull my lashes i tear up so me trying to tweeze the little hairs, not gonna happen, it's just not. So I put on a pound of concealer every day to hide all the little baby hairs. Yeah, I, I should get better at life. I'm also afraid to have them do my eyebrows in Korea. I know, cause first of all, I love Korea, but the women wear their eyebrows completely straight. My eyebrows aren't straight, so I don't want you shaving off the ends of my eyebrows to make them straight. I like my arch, leave it alone. Um, yeah, no one here has an arch. Like the women, they do just the straight brow. I don't like, I can't, I have an arch. They would try to cut it off and I'd be upset. So yeah, my brows take the longest time, but that's okay because I like my brows. Eight is a two-part question. 8A, one step in your makeup routine that you are okay with skipping. The one step that I'm okay with skipping. Uh, be contour, blush. Sometimes I don't go out with foundation. I'll put BB cream on instead just because, you know, 
especially in the summertime, it's, it gets literally hot as hell in Korea, so, and humid, so me trying to put on foundation and have it last from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m., not gonna happen, um, so, either foundation, I don't do blush, and I can skip contouring, uh, what is the one step in your makeup routine, this is part B, um, that you'll never skip, my brows, my brows, <laughs> because they're so thick and unruly naturally that they need to be done, or, I don't be called a bush baby. Let me, like... <sighs> Nine. What type of makeup looks are out of your comfort zone? Going back to question two, it would be neutral looks because I can't... I can't do them, and I feel like... I don't know. I'm not neutral. I'm not a neutral person. So I feel like me having neutral looks is hard. That's why it's hard for me. Because my life is far from neutral. Ten. Do you wear a matte liquid lipstick, cream lipstick, gloss, or a mixture? A mixture, but it's usually... I take a matte lip and I put... Fenty gloss on top of it, so it's definitely a mixture. Ow! Sorry, my stomach hurts. 11. If you could wear only one lipstick shade for the rest of your life, what would it be? That's not fair because there are like six shades that I wear all the time. If you follow me on Instagram, there are like you can try Colorpop, 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 and then Jeffree Star. It's really hard for me to choose just one shade, but if I had to choose, like if it was life or death situation, or like, you know, Kendrick Lamar was like, I will marry you if you only wear this one shade forever. It would probably be Tool, Colourpop Tool, or Colourpop Candy Paint. One of those two. Because he still can't choose one, so Kendrick would have to get over it. I love him. Just to put that out there. Um, Twelve. Do you highlight and contour your face? Um, I highlight more than I should. I highlight as if Jeffree Star was... I'm my daddy. Um, like, <laughs> my friends always make fun of me here. Like, your face, it's so bright. Yes, I know. Look at God, won't you do it? Um, I'm a highlight freak. Again, I can take or leave contouring. Um, but I'm a highlight freak. I'm a highlight freak. Well, mine is contouring my nose. I have to contour my nose because this is huge too. My nose look, literally looks like some, a girl is twerking if I don't contour. I'm like, I'm not even kidding. If I go like this and go like that. But it looks like a girl is twerking, so I must contour so that it doesn't look like I have a butt on my face. Uh, so, but yeah, I highlight like no other. But today was a simple highlight, but like, I highlight like no other. And the last question. What is the one step in your makeup routine that makes you feel complete? It's one of two things. It's either my brows or my lips. If my lips, because my lips are a weird color too. If my lips are not done, I feel weird. Even if it's just gloss. I feel weird. If my brows are not done, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> my friends are like, you don't need to do your brows. Hurry up. <laughs> you think I'm going outside without doing my brows. You got, you got lost. There is a store that's literally like a two-minute walk from my house that I go to sometimes. And before I go there, I put my brows on. I don't care. I really, I'm really considering getting them tattooed like this. No, I'm kidding. I am kidding. Do not take me seriously and leave a comment going, oh my God, if you do that... Can you let me be great for a second? No, but yeah, if I don't have my lips or my brows done, probably mostly my brows. If my brows aren't done, I'm not going anywhere. I don't care. Like, they could be like Kendrick Lamar's outside. You're going to have to wait till I'm done with my brows because, um, <clears throat> no. But, yeah, 13 questions. All done. Well, technically 13 and a half, but shh, don't tell anybody. Um, I tagged the people I tagged. I'm going to leave all the questions in the description box. So, if you're watching this and you want to do it, the questions are there. If I tagged you, the questions are there. And that is all for this video. I will see you next time. Shout out to Danielle for this fun tag, though. This is actually fun because I have to really think about some things. But, see you all next time. Bye.